We've got breaking news on Boeing. Let's get to uh, Phil LeBeau joins us now with more. Hey, Phil. Hi, Joe. We've got a major management shakeup at Boeing. The company announcing three significant changes. Let's start first with the CEO position. CEO Dave Calhoun, as you take a look at shares of Boeing, Dave Calhoun will be resigning from the uh, position of CEO at the end of the year. He's got a lot on his plate between now and then. In an employee newsletter that was just sent out, he says we are going to fix what isn't working at Boeing. And there's a lot that's not working right now. So the company will begin a CEO search, but it will not be led by Board of Director Chairman Larry Kellner. He is resigning as chairman of the board. Stays on the board through the annual meeting in May, but he resigns as chairman. The new chairman, Steve Mollenkopf. Who, is on, uh, who has been on the Boeing board since 2020. He will lead the CEO search. Now you see a picture of Stephanie Pope. Why are we showing you that? Because Stephanie Pope is moving into the position of CEO of Boeing Commercial Airplanes. Stan Deal, who had been in charge of Boeing Commercial Airplanes since 2019, has resigned. Stephanie Pope, the COO, now moves up into that position as president of Boeing Commercial Airplanes. And so that's the big position in terms of correcting the manufacturing problems that have been exposed over the last several months. But again, the big headline here, you've got three changes in the management at Boeing. You've got Stephanie Pope moving into the position of head of Boeing Commercial Airplanes. You've got Larry Kellner out as chairman, replaced by Steve Mollenkopf on the board of directors. Steve Mollenkopf will lead the CEO search, which is the third position. Significant news, Dave Calhoun he is resigning at the end of this year. Lots to discuss with Dave Calhoun. You do not want to miss our exclusive interview coming up in a half hour. We will talk to him about these changes as well as his view about where things are at Boeing as it wrestles with a lot of problems within its manufacturing facility here in Renton, Washington, as well as the outlook for Boeing and the management in the future where it will not include Dave Calhoun after the end of this year. Guys, back to you. Five points up so far. On uh, we'll see see how that works. Uh, the initial knee jerk reaction on all this is is positive for the shares, I guess. Phil, well, I'm trying to not surprised, Joe. Not yeah. surprised. Not surprised. Now, look, the pressure has been building for them to make some significant concrete act, take some con significant concrete action, and this is it. You are basically you have Boeing's board saying. Look, we're putting new management in place. We don't know who the CEO is going to be. That will be determined over the next several months as Steve Mollenkopf begins the CEO search. No doubt they'll probably involve an outside recruiting firm. Um, but th there's a unique skill set that is required to become CEO of this company. And the question becomes now, what are Steve Mollenkopf and the Boeing directors looking for? They'll decide that over the next several months. But this is the beginning of Boeing saying, we're moving forward. This is what we're going to be doing in terms of our management. At least two-thirds of the management. We'll find out about the CEO later this year. In the past, we've, we've sort of watched it. You know, it's hard to figure out who would make a good CEO of, of a company like, like Boeing. Now, Mollenkopf yep. is, is an impressive guy. He's not very old. Uh, this isn't going to be a Dick Cheney. I'm looking for a vice president. Maybe it should be me. Or, uh, <laughs> it, 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 it I don't happen. think that, so. It, it, Art, Art I don't Laffer, think so, but the Art last Laffer's time that Boeing for... went outside, <laughs> yeah. the go last ahead. time, uh, Joe, that Boeing went outside to bring in a CEO, you've got to go back to what, 2004, 2005? Uh, yeah. That's when they brought, no, not Mullally, uh, when they brought in Jim McNerney uh, oh, yeah. from 3M. Right. They from brought 3M. him in here. Yeah, yeah. But, but keep in mind, he previously Ooh. had run GE Aerospace, GE Aviation, so it, it's not like he was foreign to what was happening in the world of aviation. And their assembly lines, too. I think that's why we've, in the past, we've explained it uh, that way. But uh, we have talked quite a bit about changing management in the middle of something like what's going on with Boeing. And that's sort of why I think Dave Calhoun was able to make the case that, that and he's still going to be there, obviously, seeing it, uh, the company through the transition. Uh, until the end of the year. So, you know, the, the, there's stability, and, but and there's also Joe, that's change. one of the questions we're going to have for Dave. That's one of the questions we have for Dave. Why not leave now? Why wait until the end of this year? Now, there's two, two ways to look at this. You can look at it full sweep. Let's clean it out. But let me tell you, if you were to replace Dave Calhoun right now, who would you put into that CEO right. position? Would you put Stephanie Pope in that position? You, you could. 
But you also have the question of, is that who you want to run the company long term? Or right. do you take the other approach, which is, we need to have a CEO in here who understands everything that's going on. Let's take our time. Let's do an outside search. Uh, and they'll also look internally as well. Let's do that search and make sure we get the right person, as opposed to saying, boom, here's the changes across the board. Uh, and, and putting yourself in really a, a difficult situation with a new head of Boeing Commercial Airplanes and a new CEO at the same time. Right, and I can channel the stock. It's like, oh, good, it's happening. Uh, I'm up five points. It's, well, wait a second, who are we going to get? Uh, wow, we still got a lot of problems. We still got a lot we have to do. I'm up two points. So you can see the, the, the almost investors trying to de decide and then coming to grips with this sure. isn't going to be solved immediately just because you're, you're changing uh, management eventually now. So it's, it's going to be interesting to watch.